Only qualified personnel should install Napoleon appliances and accessories. See product manual for details. This video outlines the installation highlights of a Napoleon Altitude A series fireplace. This video will demonstrate how to use the product manual to properly plan the installation of the Altitude A series fireplace. Assemble the appliance standoffs. Install the optional universal heat management system with the appliance. Gain access to the control area to make utility connections. And correctly finish the enclosure around UHM openings. The installation manual contains diagrams, formulas, and other vital information which must be used when installing the Altitude A series fireplace. During rough framing, the appliance must be placed on a raised platform to accommodate for the thickness of the finished flooring. If not planned for, the flooring will interfere with the installation of the safety barrier and or any decorative front. It is not necessary to install a hearth extension with the Altitude A series fireplace. Framing dimensions may vary depending on the accessories selected and finishing material. Refer to the installation manual and leaflet instructions supplied in each accessory kit for specific framing and finishing specifications. It is recommended that the walls of the appliance enclosure be finished, the same as you would finish any other outside wall of a home. This will ensure that clearance to combustibles is maintained within the cavity. Minimum enclosure and clearance requirements are outlined within the installation manual, section 3.0, 3.4, and 3.5. When planning the vent terminal location, ensure that you maximize the vertical rise where possible for optimum performance. The minimum height for vent placement is 58 and 7 eighths inches from the bottom of the appliance to the center of the venting. The top standoff provides the minimum clearance to the header and is secured to the front top of the appliance. Remove the screws securing the standoffs and heat shields down and keep them for later use. Bend the outer edges of the standoffs at the bend points to create a triangle on the top of the appliance. Secure the bent standoffs in place using the screws from the previous step. Place the lower heat shield into the slots of the standoffs with the flange facing upward and towards the rear of the appliance. Once inside the slot, bend the inner tab upward to lock it in place. Repeat these steps for the upper heat shield. Next, we will prepare the appliance for the optional universal heat management system. The universal heat management system is an optional passive heat kit that allows you to better manage the heat produced at and around the appliance. If selected, we recommend installing the UHM kit during the installation of the appliance before the appliance venting and gas are installed. Depending on your UHM orientation, the framing will need to be made to accommodate the discharge boots. The discharge boots must be secured to the framing, maintaining 3 inches of clearance from the top of the enclosure. The ducting must then be connected to the boot. Ensure to use a minimum of 3 screws. Once both UHM boots and their ducting have been installed, it's time to install the UHM collars to the appliance. The knockouts for UHM are located on either side of the appliance's vent collar. Remove the knockouts on both sides using a pry bar. The opening will be filled with insulation, with a cover plate below. Both must be removed and discarded. Next, place the UHM collar over the opening, and secure them to the appliance using the four screws provided. To correctly secure the UHM collar to the appliance, the lower heat shield will need to be temporarily removed. Bend the inner tab downward, and slide it through the slot in the standoff, then lift the heat shield out of the way to secure the UHM collar to the appliance. Once the appliance is placed, secured, and correctly vented, the ductwork can be secured to the UHM collars on top of the appliance. To begin electrical and gas connections, the safety barrier must be removed from the appliance. The safety barrier lifts up and off the front of the appliance, providing access to the glass door. If not already installed, this appliance is shipped with a top and bottom door trim, packaged separately from the appliance. Both trims must be removed by lifting them out of their locations, to access the glass door and control area. Once the utility connections have been made, reinstall both trims. The bottom door trim has a flange which rests between the glass and door frame. The top of the glass door has two locator holes, which fit the flanges on the top trim. 
then reinstall the safety barrier. When finishing the enclosure, ensure there is a minimum of 3 quarter inch clearance from the top of the UHM opening, to the finishing material. This gap will be covered by the grill once it is installed. See the video description for part numbers related to this installation. Click here to view the Wolf Steel Technical YouTube page. Like and subscribe to our channel to get notifications for new product and troubleshooting videos.